Today I want to talk to you about my uh, evolution and carp hooks and what I learned as a beginner carp fisherman. I never really targeted carp so I only used what I kind of had in my uh, tackle box. So let's start out with what I first started out with. So I started out with the size 6 uh, octopus equal call needle point carp. I wouldn't even say they're carp hooks, they're just regular hooks. And I got these on clearance, I believe, at Walmart for like four dollars. Let's take these out. Okay, so that's what I started with, and they're a little offset. Let's see if they're all offset. Yeah, they're a little offset, and so this is what I started with when I first start got serious into carp fishing. Um, I've noticed one of the biggest, I don't want to say mistakes because what they're doing is working, but I found right away that you do not need large hooks to catch carp. Carp are very weary fish and um, the bigger the hook, the bigger they're going to detect and they might grab the bait and feel that hook and let it go. And so I've always found a size 6 or a size 4 when I'm lake fishing is is about what I need for a hook. Now I've seen people use something like this, an octopus, Gamagatsu, uh, this is a two-aught. And this is really, in my opinion, let's see if we can get one on the board. That's a lot bigger than that. And will that hook work? Yes. Um, but I think if you're just using it for a boilie or a corn for carp, that's too big a hook. Will it work? Yes. But a carp is going to feel this extra weight. It's going to feel this bigger hook, and he might let it go. I do not recommend this for lake fishing when you're uh, fishing for carp with a boilie on a hair rig or just corn on the hook or a, a pay lake rig or anything like that. Now, with that said, there is a time when this could be used. Um, in the river for less weary fish and bigger fish and we'll get to that but even then I wouldn't use that this is something I'd probably use for small catfish okay so this um, this little offset you can see um, this little offset and so this wouldn't be the greatest one for a boilie either and so and I want you to notice how thin that hook is so let's put this here Then I graduated to this Gamagatsu live bait size 4 hook. And these are readily available on Amazon. And you don't have to uh, order them from any specialty carp place. Now you can see that this is a lot thicker than this. Um, Gamagatsu octopus hook. This is probably a more of a proper carp hook right there. And you can readily order these on Amazon. They're relatively easy to get. I think it even comes with prime shipping. And so I will put a link down below to that. Okay, then after that, I moved up to the G Carp Specialist R. Let's see if we can get one of those out. So, let's see if we can take one off of this thing here. I don't really need it to be on this thing. So that's the G-Carp Specialist R hook. You can also order these from Amazon. And as you can see it's a lot thicker hook than the uh, Eagle Claw octopus hook. And so this this is a number 
four. And this is the number six. And the crazy thing is they're about the same size. So it's crazy that, uh, that a four and a six and these two same brand manufacturer are really about the same. Okay. And then after that, um, I moved up to these hooks I got off Amazon. Um, now these are manufactured in China, but I'm sure all these other ones are. Uh, this one's made in Kamigatsu's made in Japan. I'm sure this one's made in Japan. Uh, it says it's assembled in Thailand, and these are made in. Let's see where they have to be here somewhere. I don't see where it says these are made at. It actually has these are actually American made. There's a flag right there. And so there's something that. So then I moved up to these Fairland carp hooks. And these are relatively cheap, and you can get these on Amazon too. And I have two boxes of them. I have a, a size six. And I have a size four. And there's a hundred of them in here. And I'm not 100% sure about these hooks yet. We'll see. So here's the size six. You can see it has a slightly different bend on it. And here are the size uh, four. Now my concern with these hooks is, is that this is too close to this bend here. This one seems to be alright, but it seems like this gap here is too close to the the eye. But we'll give it a try and we'll see. And so now this is a bait holder hook, a size one, and you can use a size two. Now when I use this, now you notice these this, this is a lot bigger. That's a bait holder hook, eagle claw, and these, do these say made in America too? Yes, American made fish hooks, so there's something to that. Um, this is what I use in the river when I'm fishing for river fish. They're less um, weary, and when I use this, I'm using a whole night crawler. So I cover the whole night crawler with this hook. And so I want this bait holder hook so I have the little barbs on there. So it will um, hold the worm a little better. And I have not had any problem with this. I only use this in fast current. A bigger river fish in the Missouri River. And this works very well with a whole night crawler. I'm not putting corn on the hook. I'm not using this as a boilie. I'm taking a whole night crawler and putting the whole thing on this. And this hook is, is, is a go-to hook for me. And so that's just my uh, quick video for the carp hooks I use. I, uh, for a newbie or a beginner like I was and still kind of am, downsize your hooks. You don't need a big hook like this. Um, in a lake when you're just having a boilie or corn on the hook or, or, or a pay lake rig. Even though this would probably work in the river, I don't use this in the river because when I'm in the river, I'm using a whole night crawler and so I want a bait holder hook. And so these are my hooks. All of these are readily available at Amazon. The bait holder hooks you can get on Amazon. You can get these at Cabela's too. You could probably get them at Walmart. I know Walmart sells these in a smaller pack, not the 50 pack. Um, and so I'll put links to all these down below. And uh, please leave some comments. If you find this video useful and you like our content, uh, we'd appreciate any subscribes. This is Michael at BigMuddyFishing.com.